Dear teachers, I hope you are doing well. Today, I'll show how to conduct a writing lesson with our students. Please pay attention to the stages of the writing lesson. And you'll see how step by step we prepare our students for a final product text. I will use materials from the course book English for the 6th grade, Unit 10, Lesson 10C. Hello boys and girls, how are you today? It's wet and cold outside, isn't it? And it's raining cats and dogs. By the way, do you know what it means to rain cats and dogs? Can you look at this picture? Have you ever seen cats and dogs dropping from the clouds like raindrops? It's impossible. So when we say it rains cats and dogs, it means it rains heavily and you'd better have an umbrella with you in order not to get soaked. You have probably guessed that today we will continue talking about the weather. I hope you remember well the words about the weather we learned at the previous lesson. Now we will play a very fun game called Unscramble the Word. You will see a combination of letters that give one word. Your task is to unscramble them. Here is your first scrambled word. Can you guess which word is it? Right, it's pot. This one is longer. It's got six letters in it. Which word is it? You are absolutely right. It's cloudy. Now, can you unscramble this weather word? Correct, it's foggy. What about this one? Yes, it's storm. And the last scrambled word is... Dry. Well done. Did you like this game? Great. Now, let's read about the weather in Kyrgyzstan and complete the gaps using the words we have just unscrambled. Look at the box and choose the word which best fits the meaning of each sentence. All right, it's time to work with your classmate now. Well, let's listen and check the answers all together. The weather in Kyrgyzstan is sunny most of the year. In Kyrgyzstan, we have hot summers and cold winters. Spring in Kyrgyzstan is short. It sometimes starts in late February and in May it becomes hot. It doesn't often rain in Kyrgyzstan in summer. The weather is usually dry, but March, April, October and November are sometimes very wet. There are a lot of mountains in Kyrgyzstan. The mountain climate is colder than in any other parts of the country. 
it's often cloudy there. West winds usually bring heavy rains, storms and snow. Winter in the south of Kyrgyzstan is warm, but the northern parts of the country have a very cold winter. The weather here is foggy, wet and snowy. There is a famous English proverb which says, east or west, home is best. You must have heard similar proverbs in Kyrgyz and Russian. This proverb suggests the idea that you can travel and visit many countries that are stunningly beautiful, but nothing will substitute for your own town's quiet streets, its fresh air and beautiful mountains. In other words, wherever you've been or wherever you'll be, you'll always miss your home. I'm sure you can show and tell where your home is and how much you love it. But I wonder if you can show where the East and where the West is. Well, let's look at our country's map and figure out the directions. Where on the map can you see Bishkek? Where is Chu region located? Right, it's in the north. What about Osh region? Right, it's in the south. And Isiko Lake beautifully lies down in the east of our country. What about Jalalabad region? Right, it's in the west. Now, look at the map and repeat after me. North, South, West, East. All right, it's time to do an exercise. Here is another map. You have to look at this map, use the weather words and complete the weather forecast. If you have finished, you can work with your classmate and compare your answers. Well, let's listen to the weather forecast and check your answers. Look at the map. In the northwest of the country, it will be cold and snowy. But the snow may move to the north where the weather is windy today. The temperature in the north may lower down later. In the east of the country, there is a 70% chance of stormy weather. In the south, there might be tornadoes, so watch out. As you can see on the map, in the west, it's sunny or partly cloudy. It may be windy later. This is the map of our country. Look up the actual forecast for the weather tomorrow in Kyrgyzstan online or on your phones and write it down. Now count from one to four. Ones will work together. The second, third and fourth groups also will work together. In your groups of four, tell the weather forecast in the north, south, west and east parts of our country. One person can talk about the weather forecast in one part of our country, for example, east. For your homework, I want you to write down the forecast of another country for the weather tomorrow. And our lesson is over. Take care, try to check the weather forecast and carry your umbrella in case it rains cats and dogs. Goodbye, and I'll see you next time. Dear teachers, now it's time to have some tea and discuss the demo lesson. You probably noticed that I introduced an idiom of the day at the very beginning of the lesson. That was an idiom connected to the lesson today, the weather. 
By the way, why did I come up with an umbrella? Did it help students to understand the meaning of the idiom? Yes. The situation, realia, and the pictures on the slide suggested the idea of the heavy rain. What about the warmer? Did you like it? Did the students practice something or was it just for fun? Well, we played unscramble the word game, not only to energize students, but also to revise the vocabulary of the previous lesson. Warmers can also serve the following functions. Allow for latecomers, relax students. However, the most effective warmers are those which combine more than one of these functions. So please, try to use warmers with a purpose to impact the classroom and set the stage for learning. After this revision game, I asked students to read the text about the weather in Kyrgyzstan and complete the gaps using the words in the books. Would it be more difficult for students to do this exercise without revision? Probably not, but they might spend more time on it. By the way, was this activity controlled? Yes, because the students' language was restricted. They had to choose the words from the box, and there was only one correct answer. As for the task that followed, why did I take some time to present the directions? The thing is that, as we talk about the weather forecast, these notions are very important because forecast presenters don't talk about each city or region, but including them in the north, west, south and east parts of the country. So, the students were ready to do another exercise, which was semi-controlled. As you remember, the output in this type of activities is still controlled. The students had to look at the map to come up with the words, but we teachers can't predict the exact language students might use. So lastly, I asked students to look at the map of our country, write down the weather forecast for the weather tomorrow. This exercise was free practice and it was also fluency based. We have the scenario the map, and by looking at it, the students can create their own content and language. We can predict their responses, because students have 100% freedom to experiment with the language. So, let's sum up the main points. First, prepare students for writing. Work on the vocabulary they are going to use in writing. Second, introduce new concepts to enrich their written or spoken language. And lastly, choose appropriate tasks and activities by ascending order of how difficult they are. First, let the students work on controlled activities to focus on the target language. Then, give them a bit more freedom in producing the language and then only let them communicate. I hope this lesson was useful to you and that you can conduct a very interesting writing lesson after watching it. If you have any questions regarding the lesson or methodology, write to our email or in our website forum. Need to get this info. Our Lingva Tea Club is always open to our professional talk. Goodbye and I'll see you next time.